is the managing director of Upkins Solutions Limited. You're so much welcome to the program tonight. Okay. So maybe you can start us off by telling us what Upkins Solutions is all about. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, Upkin Solutions Limited is a uh, is a young company that deals with uh, enterprise resource planning. Mm -hmm. We do ERP for several organizations, mm -hmm. uh, academic uh, institutions, uh, government uh, the mm -hmm. pri the health sector, and the rest. So our solutions are based on uh, Microsoft Dynamics Navision. Mm -hmm. Yes, which is a worldwide uh, known solution with the base on financials. Mm -hmm. So we do both, uh, majorly the ERP, mm -hmm. but we also complement it with uh, web-based and mobile-based solutions. Mm -hmm. Yes. So for how long have you been in this particular sector? Uh, we've been in this particular sector, uh, like from uh, around 2010, but uh, we constituted UpKings uh, as a, a company uh, in 2016. Mm -hmm. And so from 2016, we have been actively participating mm. uh, in the ICT center to provide solutions. All right. Yes. Maybe you should just dive into the conversation. So looking at the state of ICT and the young people in this nation, is this where we are supposed to be as a nation compared to other particular nations? Uh, uh, in Kenya, we are, doing so we are doing fine, but this is not where we are supposed to be. Mm -hmm. You see, in Kenya, we, are, uh, we, are, we have been credited with uh, several innovations, including uh, we brag about M-Pesa innovation. Mm -hmm. But again, uh, uh, beyond that level, we have taken so much time trying to talk about uh, that to the point that we have lost focus in trying to achieve mm -hmm. or being innovative beyond that level. Mm -hmm. So uh, we are doing so fine, but we have lost track a bit. We need to really focus on providing more solutions and uh, being we should be at a higher level than where we are. Mm -hmm. Yes. So ICT mainly involves coming up with apps, innovations daily. Are there platforms that helps nurture this particular, we say, do we call it talent or this particular mm -hmm. uh, platform to the global stage? Uh, yes, according to me, from where I sit, I believe there are several platforms available. Now, what we are lacking is the, no, the, the knowledge and the guideline. Mm -hmm. Yes, we, we have several platforms. Today, if you walk to almost all higher learning institutions, mm -hmm. you must find some corner that has Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. That is the biggest resource when, uh, as far as ICT is con concerned. Mm -hmm. But now what we are lacking is the drive and a direction. Mm -hmm. Most of us just delve into the sector but again, we don't have any specific uh, target or specific approach. So you end up, uh, uh, you end up into enjoying the facility. Mm -hmm. But again, you miss the target of focusing into your studies that would that would develop uh, the kind of innovation that we need. So okay. what we are lacking at the moment is just the direction. But we have the platform, I believe, sir. So. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, talking of like. Uh, a strategic plan before maybe you come up with whatever mm -hmm. you have so that it may maybe yes. succeed in the market. Yes. What are the importances of having that particular uh, plan before you start everything? Yes, uh, of course it is always good to, to, to have a direct target. You know, ICT is so broad. So if you don't have an uh, elaborate plan, you may not be in a position to, to identify a specific uh, area to delve in. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you see uh, there are people who have, uh, who, have, uh, uh, who have been successful with very little component of ICT. Mm -hmm. Like you find uh, there is someone, someone is a designer, but he does so well. You see, he is someone if you put into networking, mm -hmm. He may not do it. With someone, if you if you want to do an innovative, maybe some mobile application, mm -hmm. he may not do it. But there is a component of ICT about uh, the design, mm -hmm. about uh, programming. Mm -hmm. So uh, before you get in, you I you identify your target and your strength. Mm -hmm. So uh, you must have a plan of what you want to achieve. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and then meeting that specific goal will be uh, very easy. Because again, you find someone who is a ICT guy, mm -hmm. uh, but their specialization or their interest becomes diverse. Mm -hmm. Someone can easily uh, network, someone can do programming of apps, mm -hmm. but cannot do big <coughs> solutions, mm -hmm. yes. So talking of maybe having different things uh, to do with ICT. Yes. Uh, do you have like specifications if maybe I want to 
be part of uh, this particular sector? Uh, uh, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, you see, when, 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 when you get into the ICT field, it's very broad. And uh, uh, even if you are not trained or if you are trained in the structure of the training of this country, mm -hmm. Uh, you get into an ICT course and in most cases if you are doing it uh, the normal level let's say as a d degree or diploma mm -hmm. you get an introduction into programming mm -hmm. you get an introduction into networking mm -hmm. you get an introduction into several other aspects of ICT mm -hmm. but again in this process you will identify your your niche mm -hmm. something that uh, excites you that's why you find uh, someone ends up as a system administrator. Mm -hmm. Yes, he can, he, he can handle that at that level. Mm -hmm. Yes, so there are specifics when you want to handle ICT. Mm -hmm. For, uh, facing it, uh, the all of it, sometimes you may end up uh, uh, targeting several, several uh, having several targets that mm -hmm. you may not meet. So it is good when you have met your in introduction, mm -hmm. you identify your area where you think you are comfortable yes all right so far do you feel like our education system and whatever you are taught mm -hmm. in the ict course is competent enough mm -hmm. to make young people who want to work mm -hmm. outside here mm -hmm. to do their thing yani without any form of incompetences mm, unfortunately that uh uh, the kind of training we receive in our uh, institution has become uh, is somehow uh, outdated. Mm -hmm. Yes, you you are taught languages that uh, at the moment are not fast selling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so someone comes from the university, uh, they have done like uh, like even some courses like in databases. Someone mm -hmm. has an A in advanced database, mm -hmm. but this is someone who has never interacted with any database engine. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so you come here, you present Oracle, they have never seen. Mm -hmm. You come here, you, prevent, you present SQL, they have never seen. Mm -hmm. You present MySQL, they have never seen. Mm -hmm. But they have an A in advanced database. Mm -hmm. uh, or uh, sometimes it gets worse to a point, you are taught by a lecturer who has also never seen. So uh, our, our, our courses have become so theoretical mm -hmm. Uh, that, that from where I see it, uh, they are not relevant for what we have, we do in the field. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, because uh, I also believe our lecturers are not exposed. Mm -hmm. Because uh, if, you, if the lecturer is exposed, why would an exposed lecturer have a student for four years and you have never told them that you, are, you can download Android Studio for free mm -hmm. with the university internet mm -hmm. and it has its own tutorials mm -hmm. on how you can do your first app. Mm -hmm. So you bring someone to an interview and they have never done anything. So you, 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 you employ them and start training them. All right. Yes. So it's not, uh, I think that we would bring, uh, blame ourselves for not learning. We should blame our lecturers for not putting that in for in us a, a big portion of that blame is on the lecturers mm -hmm. but again uh, you find our uh, students are also not taking the drive to to know something mm -hmm. uh, yes a big portion is in the lectures because at least they need to identify for you that uh, to know that at least there is such a thing mm -hmm. a b c d you need to do mm -hmm. but at the student level you see, uh, you get to a, a university, mm -hmm. a student is supposed to do their project. Mm -hmm. Then they pay a fellow student to do it for them. Mm -hmm. You see, th when they come back to the market, mm -hmm. they face the same interview panel. Mm -hmm. That's the difference. So you find quite a number of students are not taking the drive mm -hmm. to know. But again, you blame them and get to some level because they may not even know that what they are supposed to know exists. But you see, Simon. Yes. Are you encouraging like laziness? Because I understand, yeah. like, if I'm a student, I'm supposed to do 70%, and then yeah. the 30 or the 25% is supposed to come from my teacher. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, for, for the ICT, you see, most of our lecturers, uh, I don't know, but some of them uh, are, not, are not modern. Mm -hmm. So you find, uh, even when you are doing your practical, they present to you. Uh, engines like, let me use an example for the ICT, like the WAMP server. Mm -hmm. uh, there is no single organization I've, I've ever met in this anywhere that runs on it. Mm -hmm. Yet, 
uh, you can uh, 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 train the student on how to do small, even small databases mm -hmm. with MySQL, which is free, which you can download freely. Mm -hmm. But uh, again, uh, b but because uh, most uh, most of them mm -hmm. uh, have not interacted with it, the student end up graduating thinking that WAMP server mm -hmm. is relevant for running an organization. Mm -hmm. So the the lecturer take a big chunk of the blame, mm -hmm. but the student must also do their own research. Mm. Yes, uh, most of us, uh, uh, if you get a student uh, that uh, sometimes the background differs, mm -hmm. so he is unable to even have his own laptop. Exactly. Yes, and the facility in terms of the, the institution computers are few. So sometimes it may hinder how they they get to do their own practicals. Mm -hmm. But again, you find someone with his own laptop but doing games. Exactly. Yes. So remember, you can be part of our discussion tonight by simply tweeting us at Yvonne Anula254 channel, the hashtag to use is Y254 updates. We are talking about opportunities in ICT. We take a very short break. We'll be back with more, so don't you go away. Y254. Imagine.